Good day, everybody. It's Matt here from Stiller's Life. And if you've been following along the last few months, maybe even half the year, I think I've been uploading videos now on the various shoes that I have been trying in my search for a fantastic new walking shoe that's perfect for traveling, for standing, for walking all day on hard surfaces, concrete, that sort of thing. Because, I mean, that's what I do all day, but that's also what I look for in travel shoes anyway. So I stand here all day, five days a week, uh, plus go walking and that sort of thing. So I want a shoe that is really good for standing in on hard surfaces. And when I travel, I, that's what I look for too, is something that is really comfortable, that is supportive and that feels good to be upright in for a long time. So when you're walking around the city, museums, art galleries, theme parks, all of that sort of thing, you're standing on concrete, tiles, hard surfaces all day. It can be really tiring and really hard on your feet and also up through your legs. And I often feel it in my ankles a lot too. So ideally I was looking for a shoe that looks kind of nice so you can get away with it as being the only shoe for traveling. And so in that sense, it can get away as being like a casual dress shoe, as well as being a all day walking shoe. And so that is a hard ask. I tried a lot of shoes. I haven't tried every shoe on the market. Like that's crazy. My previous shoe was a Go Walk 4 from Sketches. I loved it. They didn't make it anymore. And I didn't think the replacements were suitable as a casual dress shoe. So they were great for walking, but they didn't really work for what I ultimately wanted as an all purpose travel shoe. So. Ultimately, I ended up settling on the Skechers Delson 3 Cicada shoe. Now, as you can see, these ones have had quite a bit of wear now from when I first did my video on them. And I really like these. They're a slip-on shoe, so fake laces, so quick on, quick off. They have this unusual insole, which is a mix of memory foam and the Goga Mat. Now, I really like the Skechers Goga Mat. That is my favorite insole. I'm not a fan of the memory foam, but I actually found the way they've done it in these shoes works well. And I found it breathes well and is quite comfortable as an insole for standing all day. So I was really impressed with that. And I find that this kind of mesh toe box area breathes really well and that this firmer bit around the ankle gives you a lot of support. So as I mentioned, it's been quite a while now. I've actually had these shoes. I think the video only went up about a month ago of me reviewing them, but I've actually had these shoes for about six months now. And so as I mentioned, I wear these all day, five days a week, at least eight hours, but often more like 10, and I am wearing them on hard surfaces, plus on weekends, whatever else I'm doing. And I've been traveling in these as well a couple of times now. So I found they've worked really well. I can't do much about these birds, sorry. They're really loud, aren't they? I hope you're enjoying that singing in the background. <laughs> Coming back to the shoes. I like the coloring of these and I do find that they work really well with a lot of smart casual kind of outfits. So you can wear them both with shorts and with long pants and they look good and can pass for those occasions where you want a shoe that's a little bit nicer looking so that you don't have to carry around a pair of dress shoes with you when you're traveling as well. So I found that these work fantastically for that. Now, over that time, wearing them a lot, six months or so, at least 50 hours a week, that's a lot of wear. So that's about what, 13, 1300 hours, I think, that I've worn these for since getting them. And I can confirm they stood up really well. They're certainly not waterproof. That would be a really nice to have in a one size fits all shoe, but it just didn't work out that way. What I have noticed in that time is that the sole has stood up really quite well. I know there's a lot of doubt around these EVA foam outer soles that don't have a harder rubberized finish to take a lot of the hard pavement wear. And it is true, I've had this single piece of EVA foam kind of sole before on Sketches, and it does wear out quicker. But I found this one has stood up really well. Uh, as you can see on the bottom there, it's definitely starting to wear down, with, especially around the ball of my foot here but it's still got quite a bit of life in that sole. Now, what is starting to concern me a little bit more though, and that I am noticing after about that time frame, which again, it's a lot of wear, and this has only happened in the last week, is in the heel area here, just above on the inside of, of this firmer, more supportive piece, we are starting to see a split in the material there, and that's actually happening in a couple of places here, and it's worn through. And I am starting to get, when I wear ankle socks and shorts with these shoes, I am starting to get some blisters as a result of that when I'm wearing them for longer periods of time. Still fine with longer socks and whatnot. And it is happening on both shoes. This is the other one. 
I can see that's happening up in there as well. So I'm not complaining about that. The amount of wear that these shoes get, they've lasted really well. Um, I'll get more out of them yet. That's not enough to get me to stop wearing them yet. Now, I did end up getting a second pair of shoes as well. Yeah, I know I was after one size fits most occasions, but I did, I did. I also got the OnCloud 5 waterproof in the olive color. And as you can see, these are very dirty at the moment. I got these ones because I realized that I can't really get a waterproof shoe that really works as a smart, casual, all day walking shoe. So I went with these and I actually really like these. You might recall in my video up here on these ones. I found them really comfortable. I've since had these for a little bit less. It's been about four months now that I've had these. And I wear these most days, probably six days a week when I go out walking in the mornings. And so the ground is often wet, grass is dewy, puddles, it's raining, that sort of thing. And so I did decide that a waterproof option was a really good way to go for those occasions. And so when I'm traveling, I would actually pick between these now, depending on what I'm planning on doing. If I'm not expecting to be doing any hiking and that sort of thing, I would just go with the sketches. But if I am planning on doing some hiking, especially if it's gonna be dirty, muddy, that kind of thing, and I'm not expecting to need a smarter casual shoe, then these ones are my go-to. I really like these. I find these absolutely fantastic. I have never had water come through. And as much as I know it can be concerning with the lower cut boot uh, about keeping water out because it is lower and if water goes above that's gonna come in. I haven't had that at all. Even like walking through long grass when it's wet and so on, I haven't really had water come run down inside them. Now, again, what sold me on these, slip on, no laces, really easy to get on and off. I like the reflective strips on them. I think that's awesome for those times in the morning. So a couple of caveats I have noticed is these are like magnets for grass and whatnot. And I know I'm walking in water and wet and that sort of thing, but my old hiking shoes did not attract grass like this. Like I usually rinse these off every couple of days or so because it gets so thick and it just sticks to them directly above this. Like you can see, it's, it's coming all the way up the back of the shoes. It doesn't stick to my pants or socks or anything, but these, yep, sticks to them. We've got these little grooves along the sides of the sole here, and I find it does tend to catch the grass in there as well. And the other things I've noticed, and I did have a suspicion this might happen when I first looked at these, is in these grooves, we collect rocks and other hard things. It happens down the middle of the sole, as well as in between each of these pods. And that, is remarkably annoying. It doesn't seem like it would matter a whole lot, but it is remarkable how much these pods actually do condense under your feet and you feel all of these. I could feel them here this morning. I left them here for the purpose of demonstrating this, but it's happened so many times. You can feel them and you've got to get them out. It's not comfortable at all when they get caught there. And like this is just from today. I've got three things in there and I know there were more because I picked some of them out earlier on about halfway through my walk. That is extremely annoying, but overall the comfort of these uh, and how good they are for hiking and walking in when it's wet and just generally, look, I would wear these all day. I would wear these as my old day shoe if they looked a little bit smarter. I've also been really impressed with how well this outsole on these has stood up to everyday usage. Like I'm just starting to wear down in some of these heel areas and again across the ball of my foot, but it is lasting really well. So I've been very impressed there. And I found these to be a really comfortable, breathable shoe and I really like wearing them. I really do. Like, I love these. <laughs> they do feel like you are walking on clouds. So. That's it, that's my two shoes. They're the ones I ended up settling on. There are a bunch of awesome shoes I tried that I really liked, but at the end of the day, these are the ones that I found worked the best for me. And yes, I did end up with two options that serve different parts of my day, and that would be my go-to shoe depending on what type of trip I'm doing. And yes, there are gonna be occasions where I'm probably gonna need to take both, but for the most part, I do find these two are working really, really well as my go-to shoe for a trip. Mostly the Skechers Cicada Delson 3s. I've been really stoked to see more colors available in these and I'm keen to try them out as well. That's it, that's it for me for today. That's my shoes, that's what I went with. 
I am planning on doing some more on other shoes because I have found this really, really helpful and insightful about what footwear I ultimately like and find works the best. And I've had some good feedback from you guys too, saying it's been helpful for identifying what kind of shoes are gonna work for you. Let me know down in the comments what kind of shoes you would like me to look at next. Now, if you're looking at getting yourself a pair of either of these, check out the affiliate links down in the description. I'll also stick the links to my other videos on these ones down in the description as well, so you can check those out. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. Bye for now.